It's another Thursday Thoughts, and we're going to make this one a longer one. So, we all know haters are Karens, right? Because they unnecessarily hate on something. They don't do their research. They're a know-it-all. And they have no psychological thought process. Or really any thought process at all. They just throw out their opinion and think they're always right. Now, there's two things I could discuss. One is going to be saved for the Karen voodoo board. The other, I want to open up about. And that's for those of you... Doesn't matter which one of these movies you prefer, whether you like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka, whatever. Do you like the older one or the newer one? I like the older one, but whatever. It is what it is. The Grandpa Joe haters out there have no psychological thought process. The reason Grandpa Joe is bedridden I'm not saying this is accurate, this is the story, this is true. This is my thought processes. What if his wife, Charlie's grandmother, became bedridden first and it depressed him so much that he didn't want her to feel alone and joined her? Y'all don't know that story. Y'all don't know the behind the behind the scenes why all four of them are in bed. Nobody knows. We can only make guesses. But that's just a thought that I had. And then y'all are making hate comments about him, about Grandpa Joe, when he could have gotten out of bed this whole time, finally getting out of bed. Well... Who did he get out of bed for? Not his wife. He got out of bed for his grandson. He got out of bed for Charlie. Because he loves his grandson. He got out of bed because he finally, in all this lifelong depression that he's had because his wife became bedridden, he gets out of bed because he had... One moment where he realized that happiness just isn't with one person. It is to make your grandchildren's life a memorable one. He got out of bed to make Charlie happy. And making Charlie happy made him happy. So those who keep making hate memes and hate comments, get the fuck out of my life. Because that's just my thought process. He did it for his grandson. Because he cared about his grandson and he wanted to make him happy. And in making him happy, it made him happy. So, there you have it. My thought process, not saying that's the story. Take it or leave it. But stop hating on fictional characters. Because you're looking at the negative of the story. You don't know the whole story. Shit, nobody knows. Does the author even know the whole story? We don't fucking know. We just take what we're given. And either we hate or we psychologically, some of us, because not everybody's got that gift, figure it out. Capiche?